Friends, I want to talk about one of my favorite scriptures. It's James 1.22. Be a doer of the word and not just a hearer only, deceiving yourself. I want to tell you a story. I was preaching at a conference one time, and when the conference was over and we were done with the altar ministry, I was walking off. I saw a group of about six people, and boy, they were talking it up. They were just talking. Yeah, I heard this person speaking. I listened to this podcast, but they had a real arrogance about them. And I walked over there, and I said, hey, how y'all doing? They're like, oh, hey, great, Apostle. Good to see you. I said, yeah, I see y'all talking about everything that you've heard, everything that you've listened to, but y'all kind of got a little arrogance about you. What are you doing? They said, we're sitting here talking. I said, no, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? And they kind of looked at me. I'm a little direct sometimes, but in love. And so they looked at me, and when I said, let me speak into your life for a minute. And as we started talking, none of them were doing anything with their life. They each had a bucket full of prophetic words. And what they did, they were professional conference goers. They would follow this minister and this minister and subscribe to this person and this person. They would buy the books and the e-courses. They had all of this knowledge, but they were doing absolutely nothing. I told them, you need to quit going to all these conferences and conventions. Plug into a local church. Start a ministry and do something. And they're like, well, we don't exactly know exactly what we need to do in our city. I said, is there any hungry people? Is there any homeless people? It's becoming winter. They probably need coats. Find a need and fill it. Start moving. Be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Do something with your life. And I see people all the time that will send me prayer requests. And what they do is they talk about, Every, they talk bad about their pastor, and I say, oh, well, what are you doing for the Lord? Or they may talk bad about, um, a, no, try to talk bad about a minister. I say, excuse me, you don't come to me with that. And then I always teach them the truth. Why you're frustrated is because you see things should be done differently, but you're not doing anything. And I always just elaborate on that, and, and I tell them, and hopefully this will help you. That Holy Spirit gives you an idea, but you're plugged into a church which best fits the DNA of who you are. Sometimes people get frustrated, but God has called you to do the prophetic word. You shouldn't put that burden on a pastor or ministry leader. So people travel, fly everywhere. I've been to conferences on one side of America, to the other side, to the top of America, to the bottom of America. And some of the exact same people are in the crowd. And the same people come up for a prophetic word. I told one lady, I said, child, I done prophesied over you in four different states. I'm not going to do it again. You should be busy doing the work of the kingdom. See, what it is, is we read the word of God. We hear the word of God. But we don't apply it to our life. Recently, I had a prophetic word about breakthrough and acceleration to put on social media. Dear Lord, I think it broke the internet with how many comments I got. But everybody was saying, oh, I've been in a cave for five years. I've been in a wilderness for 40 years, but I'm only 35 years old. And they were talking about all this stuff. And, and what the Holy Spirit kept saying, none of these peoples are doers. They're just hearers. They have a welfare, poverty mentality. They want God to do everything for them. They're not doing anything. They don't have a work ethic to go on their prophetic words. I love what Apostle Dutch Sheets said one day. He said, Cindy Jacobs messaged him one day and said, Apostle Dutch, I have a prophetic word for you. He said right after that, Prophet Chuck Pierce messaged him and said, Hey, Dutch, I got a word for you. He said, Hang on, guys. Give me a few days to prepare for the prophetic word, because I know when both of you give me the word, I'm going to have extreme action that I must put towards those words. And so he said he fasted for a few days, then called him back and said, okay, give them to me. And then when they received those prophetic words, he moved on them. That's why Apostle Dutch Sheets is where he is, because he is a doer of the word. Whenever my apostle, Ken Malone, will text me and say, hey, I need to talk. 
I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay. I need to get prayed up because Apostle Ken's going to have something that I need to act on. Every time I read, I just don't pick up the Word of God and say, I'm going to read today. No, no, no. I say, God, prepare my heart to receive what you're going to give me because this Word is going to equip me, it's going to challenge me, and it's going to stretch me. So you need to be a doer of the Word, of the written Word, and also the prophetic word that God has over your life. See, a lot of people that can't commit in life, the reason is they love to receive the goose bumps and the woo, the excitement that comes on when the breath of God through the prophetic word hits you. But when it's time to go to work, they don't want to work. They just want that feeling again. Well, that leads to dysfunction. It leads to dissatisfaction. Because they're not doing anything. See, God has gifted you. And he's put a grace upon your life to function in those gifts. Do what God has called you to do. Just don't be a hearer of the word. Deceiving yourself. But be a doer of the word. You know, hearing the word and doing the word, you have to marry those two together. In a marriage, if one side is strong and the other one's weak, it's not going to be a good marriage. So when God gives you something, you need to really focus. You need to put some structures and systems around those prophetic words, and you need to move forward in them. It will bring so much clarity to your life when you move forward with the mindset that you are a doer and not just a hearer only.